Want to connect large language models to your databases? Well, you've got a problem because the LLM can only handle a small amount of data. Fortunately, you're about to learn a solution, LLM scratch pads. Let's get into it. As I explained in episode five, LLMs are limited by their context window or how much data they can handle. Asking an LLM to process data from multiple data sources usually fails because the data set is too big. In episode five, I propose an easy solution, constrain the user's questions to data that fits within the context window. While this is fine for a first release, you need an approach for processing data sets bigger than the context window can handle. This is possible with a scratch pad, an area where the LLM agent can store temporary information while working through complex problems. Here's how it works. A user asks a question that cannot be answered without processing more data than the LLM can handle. An LLM agent starts by creating a plan. If you're not familiar with the term LLM agent, be sure to watch episode four in our AI strategy series. The plan requires the agent to execute a series of steps. The agent has access to a set of tools and can select the right tool for each step. Tools are common Python data functions, such as selecting data from tables or finding the largest value in a set of numbers. In step one, the agent needs to get a set of data from a table, so it selects the appropriate tool, executes the SQL query, and then stores the results as variable one in the scratch pad. The agent now has access to variable one. Step two requires the agent to extract the largest value from the data in variable one. It selects the appropriate tool, grabs variable one from the scratch pad, and generates variable two, and finally stores it in the scratch pad as well. This process continues until the LLM generates the correct answer. So why is it called a scratch pad? Because the agent generates the variables dynamically for every question. Let's take a look at a demo. In this simple example, a bank manager is able to ask questions about customers and transactions using natural language. The application uses the GPT-4 large language model to generate the SQL that queries and accesses the data and answers the user's questions. For example, suppose a bank manager asks, which customer made the largest withdrawal from an easy access checking account? Answering the question requires multiple SQL queries and processing more data than the LLM can handle. The agent has access to a set of tools for answering questions, such as executing SQL queries and finding the largest value in a set of numbers. So we'll use scratch pads to solve it. This takes about a minute to run, so let's jump ahead. Here is a list of variables in the scratch pad. The agent begins by analyzing the relevant tables and generating information about them, such as column names, a sample of rows, and a description. The agent then creates a plan. Get a list of easy access accounts, all transactions associated with them, find the largest one, and then finally identify the associated customer. It identifies the appropriate tool for the first step merge data frames. It then uses the merge data frames tool to generate a new variable called product transactions data, which is stored in, you guessed it, the scratch pad. The LLM agent then continues this process by identifying the biggest easy access checking account transaction and the associated customer. Finally, it reveals the answer, Maria Harewood, and offers some suggested follow-up questions for the bank manager. Now at this point, you might be wondering, so what? What is so special about the scratch pad? It just looks like a temporary storage for data processing. Well, here's your answer. The GPT-4 model did all of this. It figured out the plan, which tools to use, and it generated the variables in the scratch pad on the fly. It will even generate a different plan and different variables when asked the identical question moments later. Here is another example where the agent was asked the same question and it arrived at the correct answer. But this time it started by creating a different variable called easy access accounts. Just as two engineers can solve the same problem differently, the LLM has many paths to success. Now I simplified many important details of how the scratch pad works, its limitations, and the use of data frames. I'm gonna cover them in an upcoming episode. But for today, let's conclude by talking about how powerful this capability is. You now have an approach for providing your business users the ability to unlock data across your company by simply asking questions through a chat interface. 
Moreover, you can develop this capability at a fraction of the cost of traditional rules-based data engineering solutions. Instead of painfully processing every piece of data to get into the format you think your users might want based on some requirements from three years ago, you can offload this work to the LLM, which can reach out to your data and get your customers the unique insights they actually want today. I call this capability Unified Natural Language Query, and it is the killer app of enterprise AI. In this episode, I describe how scratch pads can allow you to access larger data sets in your solution. Please leave any questions in the comments below, and I suggest you next watch episode three to learn more about this killer app.